In last episode, we built this beautiful winter village, and in today's episode, we are going to be getting a fully leveled up beacon. Now, I know I haven't been in this world in quite a while. I've just been really enjoying playing better Minecraft, though I do want to give this world its proper end before the 1.20 update. But don't you worry, that won't be happening quite yet. In order to get a fully leveled up beacon, I'm going to need a bunch of emerald blocks, and I have been working towards getting a bunch of emerald blocks. However, I'm not not even halfway there yet. And I was thinking about doing some iron as well, though I think I just want to do the emerald blocks. For me to get a bunch of emeralds, I'm going to be trading with the farmer villagers to get all of my emeralds, though the farming village is feeling just a little bit cramped. And they have okay trades. A lot of them won't even trade me pumpkins, which is a little bit rude if you ask me. But I don't know, I feel bad just like squashing a bunch of villagers inside of these two houses. So I'm going to be, oh my gosh, Iron Golem, hello. He's just like hanging out on top of these walls. And now he's in the village, okay. But I want to build a new farmhouse just so that trading with the villagers feels a little bit more humane. And from there, I'll get even more villagers and even more farmers and then go ahead and zombie purify them and do all of those lovely things. And I also so gathered plenty of materials in between episodes so that we can go ahead and get started with this build right away. So with that, let's go ahead and get this little farmhouse in. Now we have the little farmer house complete. I kept it kind of simple, but I did add a little windmill on top of it because I thought it was really cute. And then it's kind of like this two in one situation with a house downstairs. And no, I have not furnished yet. And I also need to replace that with stone. And then we have the upstairs as well, which is like a separate house. But the next step is to go ahead and make some of these villagers into farmers because not all of them are farmers. So we need to make them all into farmers and then go ahead and zombie curify them and also i don't even think they're all zombie curified he's not so we definitely have a lot of work to do and i do have some potions in my little wizard's tower so let me go up there and grab some there's nothing like walking around in this world it just feels i don't know i just feel so good to be back in this world plenty of splash potions of weakness so i guess right now let's grab three and then we'll go ahead and get started with this process luckily i've nearly automated it so it's not going to take that long. It's going to be very tedious, but it shouldn't be too difficult. And these farmers insist on being beetroot farmers. I keep on planting carrots everywhere and they just replace the carrots and put beetroot down instead. I just want them to be little carrot farmers, but they don't want to be carrot farmers. Now I just need a villager to take this job and fall down into the hole. Who wants to be the first victim? You do. You are so eager. Go. Perfect. And I put a gate here too so that they wouldn't go up in the bubble column and now they just got to go inside of the minecart inside of the minecart there's literally nowhere else for you to go besides inside of the minecart so if you could just make this like a little bit easy for me i'd be so happy look here's a job just for you take it take it take it i literally hate villagers so much why do they make our lives so difficult get in the minecart go go literally go oh i did it Oh, perfect. I think I figured out a trick. I think it helps if the minecart is powered. Now we just got to go follow him over. If I thought I had enough, I would have brought my own minecart, but I did not. Off he goes. He's so excited. Aren't you so thrilled? So thrilled. Say hello to your new friend. I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? How you feeling? I'll just give you a little bit of medicine and you'll be feeling just fine. And now we leave him to it and we do this process over and over and over again until I have no more un-zombie purified villagers. We haven't given the zombie a name. That is so mean if you ask me. So what should we name the zombie? Let me know. But I will jump back in with you all whenever all of the villagers have been zombie purified.
I believe all of the villagers have been zombie terrified and all of them are farmers. This guy right here was such a pain. For some reason, he was to accept every single composter in this whole village. I don't know what that's about. Like if he already has one, he'll try to go to another one that I just placed out. So he's a nightmare. I had to lock him in that house while I was doing this to make it a little bit easier. And I guess we just have a little baby villager somewhere. Look, we have an extra little baby villager. I think that I put one extra bed in there. So we have one extra little villager. And now I need to level up the villagers who are not leveled up yet, which is going to be a little bit difficult because I don't really have a lot of crop fields in this world. I can definitely use these crop fields here. Then I have a potato field over that way, just like a small one. And then I have the wheat field, of course. But it looks like that one farmer wanted beetroots and I know I could re-roll it if I wanted to. And then I think we have one more new one. Yes, this little dude here, he wants wheat and carrots so we can get the wheat pretty easily, the beetroot maybe not as easily. And then I can level them up, trade them pumpkins and melons. And then that should hopefully make this process just a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting all of this wheat. Wheat field has been harvested and we harvested it this much wheat and we have so many seeds that I'm going to go ahead and run by the windmill. I'll just stick all of the seeds in here to be turned into bone meal. Now let's check out the pumpkin and melon farm. I haven't been down here in quite a second, so I'm curious to see how many pumpkins and melons we have. Let's see here. Okay. That's quite a lot of pumpkins, I'll take it. And then the melons, we had to unfortunately turn into actual melons. Here are our trading goodies so far. The last thing that I could really benefit from collecting is beetroot. However, I don't really have a good way to get beetroot. Honestly, should I just reroll that one farmer villagers trade? Maybe. The problem is, is that I don't know which is his composter. Let's see if he's around it. Oh, is it you? Okay, perfect. I hate your trade. Can you please just accept something else? Yeah, look, look at the gold guy. He is always coming over here, stealing everyone's workstations. And if I place another one, he'll literally just take it. Like, why? Why are you like this? So in order for me, look, there's already one in here. But in order for me to actually re-roll this dude's trades, I have to place it inside of the house. Like, that's kind of dumb if you ask me. I'm also trapping the baby in there. Sorry. Sorry that um, your friend is kind of rude. For some reason, he just wants to steal literally everyone's trades. There you go. Now let's see what you will accept. Okay, wheat. Wheat is a lot better. Thank you. So let's get the wheat and we can get lots of emeralds. So I'm going to trade all of this stuff in the shulker box and see how many emeralds we get. Nearly that entire shulker box gave me a 49 block of emerald. So let me do some quick math here and let's see how many more block of emerald I need in order to have a fully leveled up beacon. I just verified the math and I do need 35 more blocks. That's all. 35. I'm so close. I do think that I want to take a little break from gathering emeralds and trading with villagers. Actually, make that 34 more blocks. Villagers are lovely and all. However, I am getting just a little bit sick of them. And if I'm not mistaken, I have never ever gotten a wither skeleton skull. That seems almost impossible, but like if I did get one, then I put it in a really weird place, which, you know, that's a possibility too. However, I'm not seeing any wither skeleton skulls. I would probably put it in this little row here. So I'm going to have to collect three wither skeleton skulls starting straight from scratch in the nether. Ooh, and I have emerald in my emerald chest too. Okay, that's really cool. However, I need some emeralds to get some more golden carrots. Who wants to trade me golden carrots? You do. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've been in the nether, so I honestly don't even remember where I have a fortress in my nether. I feel like I haven't even really done that much nether stuff in the nether besides like, you know, getting netherite, obviously, and getting the essential nether materials. But let's go ahead and switch out the elytra for the chest plate and jump in the nether and hopefully we can figure out where the fortress is. Maybe I should have brought a shield, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, you know, maybe not actually. Actually. Leave me alone. Okay, I'll just take you out. It's so nice having netherite. But it looks like we have a fortress right over this way, so that will be perfect. And I do have looting three on my sword, so hopefully, fingers crossed, this process doesn't take too long. How did I get up here? Oh, you scared me so bad. 
Well, I cannot for the life of me remember how I got into this nether fortress, so we're just gonna break in. Right here seems like a good spot. Oh, and look, I already have some wither skeleton safety things. Perfect, because I will definitely utilize those. But I see one right here. Hello, little dude. Oh, two, perfect. No, the skull yet though. Oh, and I'm on fire. Leave me alone. I literally hate the nether so much. Do you know what I just realized? I have an elytra. I didn't need to traverse all the way over here. We're better than that. Whenever I go back home, maybe we'll, you know, go the easy way. <gasps> I got a head. I got the first head. Oh, wow. That is truly our first one. I didn't just lose it. Spooky, scary skeleton. I'm actually really shocked that that is our first skeleton skull. I mean, I guess I really haven't been in the nether. So should I truly be that shocked? Probably not. One down and two to go. I can do it. I got another one. Okay, two down, one to go. Oh my gosh, the last one. You're kidding. Those were like back-to-back -back skulls. Wow. Blaze, don't ruin this for me. I'm excited, okay? Gonna go ahead and take these guys out too because they're here. And you know, I actually haven't been that careful. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. How did... How did I get another one? Wow, but with netherite, you kind of don't have to be that careful, you know? I can't believe we have four. Wow, I'm so happy. Probably should take it off though, because you know, we need the extra protection. Now it's time to head back to our base. That did not take that long at all. It probably took like, I don't know, not even 30 minutes. Flying in the nether is just a little bit scary, but I think we'll be okay. Let's take him out, get him. Never knew what was coming. Hello, frogs. That's actually a really good way to get coal, too. I mean, I have plenty of coal, but you know, it's a good way to get coal. Is that why people make wither skeleton farms? I have no idea, honestly. Now, I think I'm going to grind for some emeralds a little bit. I brought some carrots over here, so I'll wait for those to grow. And honestly, if we're being completely honest right now, I have an entire skeleton farm, so there's no reason why I couldn't just like bone meal them. So maybe I'll do that, grind for emeralds a bit, wait for the villagers to reroll their trades and, you know, go through that whole process. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of bones and honestly just bone meal all of the crops that'll make this process a little bit faster and then i'll fortune them and then i can trade with the villagers so i'm going to go ahead and get busy doing that and whenever i jump back in i'm going to have enough emerald blocks for a fully leveled up beacon and just like that we have enough emerald blocks for a fully leveled up beacon it actually wasn't too bad but i'm so happy that i finally have gathered all of this myself in survival. I'm just so proud of myself. Last but not least, we need to fight the wither. And I've literally never, ever, ever fought the wither in Minecraft before. So we are experiencing this for the first time together. And also I don't even have like an inkling of an idea of where my end portal is. So we're just going to fight it again with the eye of ender, you know, kind of like the first time that we found it. So let's throw this first one and see where it takes us. Is it that way? Perfect. And I hope that I have everything. I'm gonna cheese this, by the way. I'm not really gonna fight the wither. I'm definitely gonna do the cheese method. But this time we do have an elytra, so it's going to be a bit easier to get over to the stronghold. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it again. Uh, okay, that way still. Ooh, jungle. I don't remember it being in the jungle. Throwing it again. Okay, we passed it. I do believe it was in a birch forest. Let's throw another one this way now. I think I'm starting to remember more, though I'm sure I dug down, so I'd kind of like to find where I dug down. Is it there? I don't know. Oh, look what I did. This is so helpful. Oh, and I have a cute little water bucket. I'm definitely thanking my past self. And then if I'm not mistaken, isn't our end portal like right at the entrance? Let's see, is it down here? Whoa, <laughs> look at all my junk that I threw in here. It is down here, perfect. And also, I don't even think I really fully explored the stronghold. This was a lot. Oh, I remember this. Definitely remember this. Anyways, let's actually jump inside of the end portal and take out this wither. Might as well set my spawn just in case something goes crazy. And then I think we're pretty much good to go. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to run. Oh, they are not happy with me and I don't have on my chest plate. Oh, Okay, well, I'm glad I set my spawn. Uh, okay, uh, I guess we're jumping back in. Wow, okay, so look down, look down. 
Like, it didn't even give me a chance to, like, not look at the Enderman. Gosh, are they still mad at me? Please don't be mad at me. I literally didn't even mean to. I promise. My stuff is literally everywhere. I didn't actually think anything was going to go wrong. If I'm being completely honest, I thought that this was going to be pretty easy. Let's put on that chest plate. Now, let me look up a little video and figure out how to do this. If anyone is going to mess this up, it's going to be me. So I really, really hope that I have this right. And then I think that I put four pieces of obsidian right here like this and make a T. And then I just place the soul sand and then place the wither skeleton skulls. Fingers crossed that I did this right. Oh my gosh, this feels so cool. I've never, ever, ever done this before. So I'm just like really happy about it. Whoa, it's so intense. He's definitely not doing too hot in there. So did... did did he get out? Did he, he got out? How did he get out? How did he get out? Oh my gosh. He's out, isn't he? How did that happen? How? <laughs> You're kidding, right? I must have done something wrong. He's just out there like exploding everything. Oh my, oh, he's right there. Do I fight him or do I run back home? I think I fight him, right? He's just literally blowing everything up. Where is he? I told you, he's literally just killing all of the Endermen. That is so mean. I also don't want to particularly look at the Endermen. Wow, look, he's just like taking them out. And also like my bow is about to break too. Cause you know, I wasn't like planning on like fighting the weather like this. Oh, he heals. I didn't realize that he would heal. He's just trying to get me. Leave me alone. Sorry, no words, just shoot. No words, just shoot. Oh, oh, where am I? Okay. Oh, is this like phase two? Is this phase two or something? <gasps> I didn't realize there was a phase two. Oh my gosh, I think I just looked at an Enderman. I did. I promise you, I am not the bad guy. Am I ever going to get over this wither effect? Oh, I'm so close. Oh, did I get him? Oh my god. Oh, I did it. And I like did it for real. I didn't even cheese it. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm going home. Bye. Bye. Let me go home. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating. I need a second. Give me a quick second. What even? That was so nuts. That was so crazy. Please tell me what I did wrong. Please, please, please. Because I could have swore that I did everything perfectly. And it even looked like he did get stuck, right? I have no idea, but I'm so ready to get back home. I was so concentrated. Sorry, I did not say like a single word. I was just, I was focused, okay? I was in game mode. But we did get the lovely nether star. So I'm happy about that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that was my first ever wither experience but anyways we're gonna go back home and actually finally build this beacon all right now how do we build this beacon i think we need some glass glass three obsidian and then the nether star i literally have the perfect amount of obsidian luckily i don't have to go and collect anymore but for the very first time oh wait i need one more piece but for the very first time ever in my life i am building a beacon and it's going to be fully leveled up now i don't really have like a purpose for the beacon if i'm being completely honest i don't really have any like big mega builds planned or anything like that i just wanted to have a beacon just to say that i've gotten a beacon before so where should i place this thing honestly i kind of want to place it here i feel like this is pretty central in our base so just like imagine a giant pyramid of emerald blocks honestly i can't imagine a better thing to put here so let me just clear out a little area and then we'll place down this pyramid so i placed the first layer in a nine by nine square and then fill it all the way in. And then the next one is seven by seven. And then we just keep on going from there, getting smaller and smaller. And that is the last layer. Let's go ahead and stick the beacon on top. Whoa, that's so cool. Now we give it a little offering and then we get to choose what we want. 
like I said, none of this stuff really matters to me too much right now because I'm just getting the beacon just to get the beacon. So I'm gonna do jump boost because it sounds fun, okay? Now we can go up two blocks at a time. And then I know that we can change the color of the light as well. We can make it like pink or something, which would be really cool. If you have any ideas of what I can do with the beacon, definitely let me know because I just got it as a flex, honestly. And because I've never gotten one before. So I wanted to say that I've gotten one before. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's definitely been quite the crazy ride. Let me know what you would like to see in next episode. And I hope that you have enjoyed this one. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.